sweet. Yeah, go on. This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm at the Hatton Boxing Academy today in Manchester. With me, I've got undefeated boxer Anthony Hatton. What's happening, Anto? All good, mate, yeah. Good, good, good. How are you finding things in the Hatton camp at the moment, mate? Yeah, all going well. Training hard. Getting, well, flying fit now. Just waiting to fight next week, innit? So, mm -hmm. everything's, all the preparation's done. Just go out there and do the business, huh? You're fighting in Belarus? Yeah. That's Fighting a good experience for you, isn't it? Well, I fought, as an amateur, I fought all over the world, like, Ooh. so I'm used to going away and fighting, but Belarus I've never been, so it'll be a new, um, it'll be a good experience, and then uh, go out there and get the win, hopefully, and just come back a happy man and go on holiday. Fighting a tricky southpaw, aren't you? Yeah, he's, um, comes forward and he gives as good as he gets, like, so uh, be a good fight and be able to display my, um, my skills. Indeed, indeed. Upton Clan getting a lot of big support at the moment. I see yeah. the Twitter account's growing, yeah. the Facebook account's growing. Yeah. Everyone's getting behind the boys. It's, aren't they? it's, it's going good, like um, it's what we want, and um, the more support, the better. And uh, it's just growing every day, like every day it is growing. There's more followers every day, and and then at the fights, there's like that last show in um, Camden Centre. The support was unbelievable, like, oh Phenomenal. man. Yeah. Um, so plenty more of them shows and just grow and grow and get bigger and better and then everyone will end up wanting to fund their shows hopefully. Sexy eyes. <laughs> I always like this in here, what? No, I think it's just because you're in it, they're showing off. Showing off a bit. Yeah. He's a funny man, isn't he? <laughs> He's a peculiar man, isn't he? Mad. Mad. Oh. So who do you think has got the best jab out of all the Upton brothers then? Best jab? Mm. Oh, big question. Paul, probably. Yeah? Probably. Best chin? God knows. My dad. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Uh, all of us. Wouldn't be in it if we didn't have a good chin, would we? Yeah. Um, all right, all right. No, yeah. Don't argue all got good jabs and that. Asking, yeah? All got mean? good jabs. All got good chins. <laughs> Yet, they're yet to be tested, to be honest, in, in fights, in the, oh, in the sparring and that, yeah. So, um, once we get into fights, then we'll see. Once we get fights where the people are as good as us and there to beat us, mm -hmm. that's when you'll start seeing how good we are. You're coming into your, this for your fifth fight coming up now yeah. at light welterweight. Yeah. Would you make a light welterweight division within the UK? I'm real, like, there's a lot of good fighters out there. I was watching one of them spar up here the other day, Tyrone Nurse. It's the first time I've ever seen him, to be honest. Phenomenally um, big for the weight. Oh man, he's tall, but mm. I was saying this, some, it's, he's on the inside, it's not, it's often you see, it, it's very rare you see someone who's like, he's built, not very muscular, and likes to be on the inside and work, and he's good at it, good at it, like, and then you've got, um, you've got a few good ones, you've got Ricky Boylan and Tyler Goodjohn going up against each other. That looks um, like a good fight, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, and then you've got, you got Bradley John Saunders, Hibbert, Bradley, Bradley Saunders, Saunders yeah. John Wayne Hibbert. I ain't seen too much of that John Wayne Hibbert, to be honest. I haven't really seen him fight, but I've heard of him. Um, it comes to the reason that not many people want to fight him, I think. That's, that's what it looks like to me, to be honest. If, if you're... I'm only starting out at the moment. Like These guys are already ahead of me, but I'll catch up soon and be up there amongst them names soon enough. Yeah. Some of the boys we just mentioned are obviously changing for the southern area, the English, yeah. and obviously Thailand holding the British. What level do you think you can go to? What you level think, could I go, go, yeah, go you to? Think about that. What, okay. le what level you can reach? Obviously, I, I believe in myself. I could go. I could do this and end up one day with a gym like this myself, like how Ricky was. So I wouldn't be fighting just to fight at like at English title level ones. That even though I'd like to win titles like that, but I'm looking to go all the way. Like I ain't here just for one title, two titles. I'm I'm here to 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 grab them all. How influential is Ricky Hatton and, and even Mike Jackson being around you day to day? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's it's a good laugh in here, and we get we knuckle down and and we we train hard like and when when it needs to like we do we we do our training and then after it we'll have our, have our laugh and stuff. It's good. Some of the imports Ricky's got in the gym seem like nice lads. Yeah, yeah. Smile yeah. on their face. Yeah, they're mad. Yeah, they mouth. don't understand a word you're saying, but they still they're still funny like that. It's skip for him. He's off his nut. He's crazy. But he's funny, like his accent and all that. 
Yeah. No, it's good. It's good laughing here, and then I've got me two brothers as well, so it's brilliant. Must be nice having two brothers training with you all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. Like, um, just a big. He's a he's a he's a boosting each other on. Believe it or not, like he's just even walking up to the gym, like the three years. It's it's brilliant. I love it.